Hi, Zachary Vex of ZVEX Effects, and I've got the uh, silicone, no, it's not silicone, silicon fuzz factory right here, which is a, a, a temperature stabilized fuzz factory that can be played on a hot, sunny stage or under very hot lights uh, if, if such things still exist because so many things have switched to LED lighting now. And, uh, or in very cold climates if you're like Henry Kaiser and you'd like to play at the South Pole. Um, the, uh, the silicon fuzz factory, uh, it took us a few years to find the right transistors to make it sound very similar to the uh, germanium. Uh, it does have more of an edge to my ear. And um, the settings that uh, you may be familiar with on a fuzz factory are slightly altered. So uh, check out some of the alterations we had to do to the, uh, to the knob positions in order to get similar sounds that you get to a standard fuzz factory. As usual with most settings on the silicon fuzz factory, that's slightly different from the standard fuzz factory. So it requires just a little teeny bit of tweaking on the knobs. Like this is uh, the Velcro fuzz, slightly modded. We've lowered the comp knob just a little bit from all the way up. And we've lowered the stab knob a little bit lower than two o'clock, down to more like one o'clock. And it starts to sound like, you know, fun. <laughs> This would be a slightly modified, cleanish, high-octave intermodulation sound. So what we did here is uh, we've got the rhythm pickup, you know, the, the neck pickup. Um, we're playing at the 12th fret in order to get that sort of, you know, octave sound. And then we've got the uh, gate knob turned up to uh, approximately 3 o'clock comp knob turned all the way back down to uh, 7 o'clock, uh, drive at 7 o'clock, and the uh, stab knob all the way up for the most stable possible sound. The smooth fuzz setting is the closest thing you're going to get to a two-transistor classic fuzz, like a fuzz face. And with the silicon fuzz factory, you need to baby it even more by bringing down that drive control to nearly nothing. So we've got the drive control all the way down, comp and uh, gate knobs all the way down, stability all the way up. And um, this is going to be with the rhythm pickup, the neck pickup, uh, and the tone control turned all the way down with the volume all the way up. Now when we switch to the lead pickup, we've got the bridge or lead pickup uh, volume set very low, but the tone all the way up. You can hear it's quite spanky. When you turn up the volume, however, you roar. This is a setting I call uh, high gain gated. The uh, comp and gate knobs are opposite from each other. Got the comp not quite at three o'clock. It'll, uh, it'll break open when you turn it down too far. But uh, the idea is that you have a nice gated sound. Uh, the uh, stability is, it actually can be anywhere when you've got enough gating action going on. Um, I'll demonstrate that in a second. Got the drive cranked, and uh, it's, a, it's a nice high gain uh, fuzz with a, with a big gate on it. mellows out. Similar to the high gain gated sound is a high compression fuzz. It's, it's also gated, but it has a sort of harsh chirp at the beginning of every plectrum strike. <laughs> and uh, you can mellow this one out by lowering the stab knob as well. Moving on to something a little more strange. This is something we call radio fuzz. Um, I don't know exactly why. It sounds 
like there's a harsh noise over the top of what you're playing, I and mean, you can kind of tweak and tune it in using the drive and stab knobs. <laughs> And related to that, of course, are a million other sounds that the Fuzz Factory, uh, the Silicon Fuzz Factory, can make when you go into the squeal mode where you let it oscillate and, and then you just find, you know, textures that you can play with and oscillation tones that are somehow in tune or not. If we allow these things to squeal in between notes, we can get the pitch set. So, direct from Silicon Valley, the Silicon Fuzz Factory joins its brother, the uh, vertical fuzz factory standard, uh, which is germanium, and uh, gives you a little bit more edge and uh, gives you the ability to play in high and low temperature conditions without having to adjust the knobs to compensate for the uh, temperature difference. And um, it is uh, one more of the 11 different versions of fuzz factories that we make now. Rock on.